This UN expert says double standards shape how politicians and media treat Israelis and Palestinians. I think that the Palestinian population are not treated as a people under occupation. And Israel is never held accountable. That was Francesca Albanese, the UN Special Rapporteur and expert on human rights in the occupied Palestinian territories. She explains how the violence in Israel and occupied Gaza is not happening in a vacuum. And while the Israeli government and Hamas have both been accused of war crimes, the reaction from the US and Europe nearly always blames Palestinians and defends Israel. The double standards are dramatically evident, both in the treatment of the Palestinians versus Israel, and in the way also Israel is held uh, up to certain standards compared to other countries. Palestinians cannot be held responsible as a people for the heinous crimes that Hamas has conducted as of the 7th of October, and civilians should never be targeted, both uh, Israelis and Palestinians. So targeting civilians becomes a, a war crime on both sides. And there's something else worth noting that some coverage is missing. Palestinians are under occupation and Israel is the occupying force. There is no symmetry between the parties, between the two people. One is the occupying power, who should also protect the Palestinian people, but it has relinquished de facto this, this responsibility long ago. Gaza has been under blockade, which is a form of collective punishment and, and a war crime since 2007. It's leading to the, also the Commission of Crimes Against Humanity, because intentional starvation of people is a crime against humanity. Israel's illegal, decades-long occupation of Palestinians has largely gone without any consequences at the expense of Palestinians' right to self-determination. The UN expert has identified at least four ways Israel systematically denies Palestinians that right. One, the continued splintering of a future Palestinian state. Israel has completely fragmented, separated, disentangled, and made the territorial unity, the territorial continuity of the occupied Palestinian territory, future Palestine, future independent Palestinian state impossible Two, israel's exploitation of land water and other natural resources in the occupied palestinian territories three palestinian disenfranchisement and israel's denial of a healthy palestinian political system and four the erasure of palestinian identity or depalestinization think also of the repression of the palestinian flag this is a way to erase the culture well, palestinians have been repressed including in the west for demonstrating their support uh, with the Palestinian people under occupation. So what's the solution to ending the cycle of violence between occupier and the occupied? You cannot leave an occupier um, determine the faith of the occupied people when the intentions are critically illegal. Again, taking on the land without the people. There's no question that it's Israel is practicing uh, apartheid, is imposing an apartheid regime uh, on the Palestinians. But I say the end result of abolishing apartheid is equality for all.